on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Okay, now let's open it up to everyone from Mizuku's class, including Reikyo, and so on, entering hell after this very, very long year. At first, they're pretty much like, are you serious? This is hell? Oraka's like, shut the fuck up and let's find Izuku. So, yeah, first things first, they have no idea where to look. Up until they pretty much like, you know what? Let's just ask someone. Ibarra being pretty much one of the bravest, you know, ho more holier than now esque person, she's the first one to ask about Izuku. Oh. Oh, him? Yeah, yeah he, he's over in such and such. Okay, yes, thank you. When they arrive, it's the address of a strip club. And they're just looking, well, are you sure this is the right place? Raka's wondering, like, it's worth a shot. Her rushing in, the others having no choice but to follow. And not to mention, Ball goes there too, so you guys, this is going to be fun. When they get there, they see just a bunch of demons. Imps, human demons, and all that sort of. And then they announce Izuku's name. In which everyone of Class 1A and whoever joined or decided to join watches as Izuku is in one of the most revealing things you ever would have expected him to wear. As he starts dancing. The music plays, strobe lights, smoke, <laughs> search to envelop the stage as Izuku comes out, and everyone is shocked to think, is that really Izuku there? And then, Uraka, she's just like, Mama, what, 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 I need some singles. What, 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 why? Like, Clearly, he's had to do some things he may not be proud of, so we might as well support him. Uh, you have your own money. Yeah, but I don't have anything less than, than 20s. I need singles. Uh, no, no, Araka, this isn't right. But we have to encourage his career your choices. We have to respect his choices. We're supposed to get him out of here. We're not supposed to... As Izuku glances at them, he does look a little shot in which they're waving, telling him to come on. His, his shot expression is soon changed by a devilish grin. As then he begins the real show as he starts removing every article of clothing until there's nothing left but a speedo, which is a little tight from what the girls can understand and yes they're cheering Izuku's name Oraka and the others are like what the hell they know him as then Angel Dust shows up and joins in then Cherry Bomb starts firing pyrotechnics blowing up shit with a sweet cherry smell and Izuku is hemming it up and milking this moment for as much as it's worth by the big finish, he glides straight to his former classmates. And he looks Oraka, especially, right in the face. 
and gives her a kiss on the forehead. She gives a nosebleed and passes out. While the others are... Mama, where are those singles? <laughs> Even Bakugo and Kirishima. Hell, Manana are starting to like, wait, what the hell did we just watch? Man, I've been questioning himself, like, why did I watch? <laughs> Bongo has no words. Just. I'm going home. I, 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 I am not doing this. As yes, they are ushered into the VIP area while they have to carry Oraka. But, yes. Then they see Zuku sitting in a big chair with Angel Dust sitting on his lap. Pretty much, hey guys. <laughs> hey, hey guys, that's all you had to say? Well, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen you guys. I missed you. Really? We could tell you did the way you did. Or rock a dirty like this. Oh, come on, she liked it. Be that as it may, what you did was wrong. Wrongly wrong. You guys enjoyed the show, didn't you? Don't lie. Oh, yeah, and Momo. That kind of currency doesn't work here. What? Yeah, you may try, but. Yeah, that that currency does not work here. Sorry. Oh. Huh. Oh, but it's nice to know uh, that I could uh, get y'all to make it rain for me, given the circumstances. <laughs> right. Right. Um. What happened to you? Well, I spent a year in hell and decided to, you know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. I thought hell was supposed to be a pit of suffering. Well, it is for the weak ones. What? Oh, yes. Here is about power and all the like. If you have enough of it, yeah, you're going to have fun here. If you don't... Yeah, it's not nearly as fun. But how did you... I still have my quirk here. <laughs> really comes in handy. But why are you here? Well, I own this place. What? <laughs> yeah, I own this club. Well, I technically own all the clubs and the porn industry and Manetta's well uh Pervy says start tingling he's like you you say what now oh yes but <laughs> it was really funny it's pretty it's nearly impossible to kill anyone here so the activities you can do are very rough as he lo looks at Angel Dust and yeah, Angel Dust gives Izuku a big kiss on the cheek and a rock girl just springs alive like, get your lips off him. Be wait, just looking at him up and down like, wait, are you? Nah, I'm a guy. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, Izuku, you lit? Oh, I'm by. What? <laughs> Surprised. Bakugo's like... Why does it feel like I lost something? Man... Like, <sighs> uh, so let me get this straight. You've pretty much been hooking up with... God knows how many... Degenerate... Sex crazed demons? While we were scared of your well-being here? Well, it wasn't like that at first. Him giving a brief recap of everything that you guys should already know. 
and they're pretty much okay, so that doesn't explain how you end up, you know, owning everything when it comes to, um, how should I say, adult entertainment. Yeah, that! Hmm. Well, <laughs> that's a long story, but I don't think it... Speak, boy! Uh, okay, okay, fine. As we have a flashback, in which, yes, it's been at least two weeks since Angel got kicked out, since he's nowhere, he's not the target demographic, or at least he doesn't get the right publicity that they're looking for, which Izuku does feel hella bad for. This is Baggy, he, Alistair, Charlie, there's, like, technically, if we want people to actually come here to try to be redeemed, you are the poster child. Uh, so, yeah. Angel Dust has had to live from hotel to hotel, living in and out with, you know, Cherry Bomb. And uh, this pretty much makes it harder for him to hang on to that money that he makes. Not to mention the money he has to pay to Val just to keep him off his ass, so to, <clears throat> so to speak. So yeah, Angel Dust is not in one, not in the best situations here. If anything, it was more than just a free room. It was pretty much a way for him not only to pay Val off, but also, you know, keep up his little uh, addiction. Sadly, yeah. When it comes to Val, as long as he gets his money, that's everything's good. That's all he really cares about. As far as him overall loving Angel... Uh, this hella toxic, if anything. So yes, Izuku is pretty much allowed plenty of members to join his been hotel. The only thing is, it's pretty much like him. He feels hella guilty. No joke. He just feels like he's just nothing more than. A jerk who kicked Angel out. Which, yes, it makes sense why he would feel that way. But all in all, eh, Cherry Bomb was sworn to secrecy by Angel, not disclosing personal information. Last thing he needs is a hero. His words. So yeah, two weeks of this. Izuku, he's busy greeting guests, trying to be nice and everything, showing off that he's not a degenerate or he's actually trying to go to heaven despite him being a live human. It's pretty, but it gets worse once he starts hearing more about Angel Dust on the streets with some of the new residents. That not only is Angel Dust really back in business, that he's been pulling overtime. So yes, Izuku, learning of this, he feels even worse, as you can imagine. Much to the point where Charlie's okay, maybe kicking him out wasn't the best thing. You think? Not. I'm gonna look. Wait, him? Okay, okay. You can stop pretending. What? What? What are you talking about? Angel Dust is a guy. Oh. As then Cherry Bomb burst through the doors and say, Okay, we gotta save Angel Dust. We gotta save her. Zuko looking 
it's a her now. Just no, no. Explain yourself. Was like, what? Tell the truth about Angel Dust. What? That he is now under the thumb of Val even more than ever, all thanks to you guys kicking him out? I mean, her out? What? And then they notice electricity start to spark around Izuku. Is bring me to Angel Dust. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I ah. Uh, now, or else there will be something else getting blown up today. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just don't tell her I... That's irrelevant. As then, yes. Izuku is right at one of Altium's studios. As he breaks down the door and is uh, subjected to Valentino abusing Angel. Him seeing this, Valentino's like, what do you want now? It's Angel's, what are you doing here? As, yeah, as you can imagine, Izuku is pissed. As he demands Angel does get right beside him, right then, right now. Him's like, I don't need a... I don't need a hero. I need you to stay out of my business. As Izuku was just walking up to them, causing craters with every step. Who said I'm here as a hero? As Angel is terrified that she is, she he has never really seen Izuku like this, and Valentino. Are you serious? And yeah, a bunch of screams, a bunch of things getting broken, mixed in with a silent sigh of satisfaction in which Izuku has defeated Valentino and uh, dress falls suit when it comes to him owning everything adult content related as then when everyone else just reels back from that story is like, where's Valentino Izuku grabs a bell and rings it as Valentino where none then but a crop top and booty shorts shows up you called the get some drinks from my friends here and be quick about it. Yes, sir. What did you do to him? Oh, he my bitch. Uh, wait, how did you... <laughs> Black Whip comes in handy when it comes to discipline. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oraga is pretty much, who are you? What have you done with Izuku? <laughs> He's still here. He's just been modified. For the better, I guess. So, yeah. You see, Izuku here is now an overlord. And yeah, he reigns over the whole adult entertainment industries. Yeah, especially when it comes to certain items. As yeah, Izuku just looks at Angel Dust as he's pretty much please. Fine. Wait, fine. Wait, what, what does fine mean? What, what, what are you going to do? That's nothing. Angel does, uh, well, 
as his name implies, likes angel dust. What? Oh, yes. They're doing this in front of the whole class. Ezekiel is pretty much. Where's mine? What? What? Oh, right. Look. What's that? It's an ecstasy. Oh, it makes me feel very good. You! You! You take... That? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you guys have no idea how good this is. I feel obligated right now to say I do not condone illegal consumption of any narcotics or anything that can impair judgment and memory loss and all the side effects. I do not condone that. So calm down, Susan. <clears throat> okay, now what was I? As yes, everyone is pretty much like, what the hell? Okay, what what else has happened? Well, if anything, hell is still where all the sinners go when it comes to the whole has been hotel. Yeah. <sighs> eh, we still get more residents. The only thing is, due to this whole extermination thing, turns out people they can't be just transferred out. What? Yeah, the daughter of Lucifer pretty much just wanted, you know, people to go to heaven. But, yeah, for some reason, we can't do it. So, if anything, I'm working with her trying to make hell a better place. <sighs> You're serious? Yeah, if anything. This is not really anyone being tortured here. We had two choices. Make it a place where no one would want to be. Or at least make the best of what's going on. So, yeah. But you! You're working with his daughter of Lucifer? Is it Barra's pretty much about to pass out? Like, I don't know. No, I. Where, where, where is it? Where, Mama, where's the bag? What, what bag? I, I need holy water and garlic and my, my crosses. Ibarra, calm down, dear. There's nothing to worry about. We're in hell, and you're saying you're helping the daughter of Lucifer make it a better place for sinners. How can I possibly calm down? Well, what have you seen of hell so far? And for anything, from what I hear from heaven, it's pretty much, uh, pretty much nearly impossible to get in. What? Oh yeah, I mean, for anything. I've heard there are people even more holier than now than, well, you, Ibarra. Chances are you would have ended up down here. What? Yeah, if you weren't here right now, you probably would have still been sitting here if you passed. Oh, you're, wait, you're, you're serious? Oh, yeah. So, there's no point? Well, wait, wait, I did, I did not say that. Here's the thing. It just means it's a lot more difficult to, you know, get into heaven than you would previously thought. It will take a lot more work than you would like. So much praying, he's like, oh, uh, countless hours of it. 
what about uh, uh, yes you had to be utterly completely perfect if anything since God knows everything that's gonna happen chances are it would be pointless anyway because he already knows what you're gonna do and he already knows where you're gonna end up possibly it's the only thing that it's kind of weird having the whole free will thing when it's already technically being predestined. As yeah, Ibarra's brain just explodes over this whole realization that all her holier than now attitudes and whatnot may have been completely wasted. Especially with her whole and Mother Gaia-esque demeanor, her being one of the most wholesome characters that is, you know, My Hero Academia. Huh? What was that? What was what? Hmm. That coin. Hmm. That's probably nothing. But if anything, yes. So, wait. Can we go back to Earth now? Huh? Uh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's why you're here. Seriously? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. I am so sorry. Hold on. Let's see. I should be able to, to go soon enough. Hold on. As yeah, this is when Izuku takes out a phone and pretty much calls someone. This being one known as Stolas. And yeah, Stolas. He's pretty much like, what is it? type thing. Okay, still is here's just kidding. I need a way to get to the human realm, at least mine version of it. And hail them back. Whenever I want. Got any ideas? Well, you could get a grimoire like me. I mean I was gifted it to me by someone let's see Ah, oh. here, here's the guy. Great. But I should warn you, I was given the grimoire to do my job for you. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. You were given that thing. Well, someone like me will have to purchase it. Yes. Yeah, how much is that going to cost? Well, when you really think about it, it is going to cost you a substantial or a great fortune, considering what you're going to be asking for. Yeah, but what about just a one-way trip? Hmm? Oh, I think that would still cost a pity penny, but not nearly as much. Wait, what, uh, guys, what are you talking about? I mean, you don't really plan on coming back here, do you? You do? Yeah, this is my territory here. Do you have any idea how hard it was to obtain this? How difficult it can be to maintain all of this as then Angel does this so you're gonna leave me behind mm, for now just make sure to keep that bed warm <laughs> alright whatever just make sure not to keep me waiting or else you might find someone else in there with me. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever. As yeah, they're still like, do we? Do you? Do you two need a room? Say, like, I don't mind an audience. As yes, Araka's nose is bleeding so much he could just rock it out of there, <laughs> just like Sanji would after his training arc. Only thing is, is like, let's just go before I feel like killing someone or defiling another. Hopefully, oh, there's nothing you can do to me that I have already done to my. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> right. Sorry. Anywho, when it comes to Izuku finally being able to arrive back home, he can. The only thing is, the amount he would have to generate, the amount of money he has to spend, pretty much is like, is this really worth it? Uh, excuse me? Yeah. I mean, I have pretty, a pretty good life here. I mean, I like being an overlord. But what about school? I don't have school here. What about your family? Mom and Dad, they should be... You almost remember Inka? Oh my god, that's right. Mom, I forgot all about her. Oh man, what have I been doing all this time? Okay, I know what I've been doing all this time, but oh, oh my goodness, I can't believe me. Oh no. Oh, she's going to kill me. Really? You completely forget about your own mother? Hey, I was in hell. Well, technically I still am. Ugh. But yeah, it's easy. I can. Ugh, it's just I'm going to have to... Uh, really break the bank here for just to be able to come back whenever I want hmm oh, yeah let's do it as soon as he does get his own little miniature green water that allows him to transfer his worlds everyone else is just still trying to process the fact that wow you have changed so much is, uh, are you? Are, do you really want to wear that to see your mom? Huh? What's wrong? With, you need to put something more conservative on. Otherwise, she's gonna. Like, hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. If anything, oh, I guess I have drawn too much. Inspiration from Midnight and Mount Lady. What? As my was like, I knew that little familiar. Just feeling the murderous aura starting to develop around him. Let's go home. Which upon the do arrive on Earth is all different from Izuku. Though, yes, he hasn't been gone for years is uh, he's gotten used to it when it comes to life there heroes and villains still are a thing here the sun is yellow uh, so so different <sighs> now I need a nap why? Oh, that that magic, the magic that you I used to make that portal did just come out of nowhere. I had to use my own energy to do that. What? Oh yeah, seriously. I mean, if anything, it I'm pretty much uh running on empty after all that activity. Them remembering his dance. 
just go say hi to your mom or something. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Just none of you get your panties in a twist. Well, it's not yet. And yeah, they're pretty much like, who? Whoa. No, stop being, stop being so, so. We don't know what you are. I mean, Zuka Madoya, new improved. And <laughs> this is going to be a lot more fun knowing that I can tease you like this. Oh. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Yeah, you can go, go on home. Just go on home. Is it good upon seeing Inko again? She is beyond happy to see him. Does she, though she does have questions, he doesn't feel like his heck. There's no point in lying to her. So learning that he went to hell, she is really pissed, but also just happy to have him back. Seeing that yes, he's bolted up, he's gotten a bit taller too. It's really the fact that he's different. We. And she sees, yeah, all my it's gray and all, but uh, this is way too much all my stuff. So yeah, he sells a huge chunk of it, making a pretty good chunk of change. But when he arrives back at UA with his teachers, they're wondering, okay, so you, we've heard you, your little trip, really. As he looks at midnight, huh? Oh, anyone miss me? Well, of course you're our student. As he walks past all the other teachers and goes straight for midnight, and he turns on the charm, the charismaticness, to the point where midnight is blushing. Izuku gives her a kiss on the cheek, and she just melts. What just happened? Man, I, her legs are shaking over this. this like, okay, this is this is weird. This is very different. Is it thirteen? Is are, are, are you all right? Yes and no. I why, why am I shaking? The way he talked, the way he walked. Oh, it's it's weird, but. If it, it feels like a good kind of weird, don't make this any more weird than it has to be. Let's just be happy that he's back. Oh, believe me, I am really happy he's back. Oh. Okay, you can be less happy. Anyway, when it comes to classes. Izuku is nowhere near as shy as he was. He's nowhere near as muttering. Because of his hero notes, yeah, he still has them, but now he's started to alter some things. In which, uh, Black Whip is hella useful in more situations than just capturing people and things. Or just fighting in general. So is Smokescreen. As well as Float. Which he's come up with several techniques with those three quirks specifically. It's when Midnight actually does get curious and sees the notebook. Come into my office. Huh? You, you heard me. We need to talk. Are you sure you want to talk? Uh, I, I, uh, I, uh, uh, well, do you want to talk or do you want to? <laughs> Who are you? You are not. He's a Midoriya. Trust me, 
it's me. If you don't believe me, I could also uh, try to prove it to you. <laughs> I said, <laughs> how, how, how do you, uh, um, mind you, this is a front of the class. <laughs> the other students, he's not going to start getting this till midnight. She just stutters. How do you plan on proving you are who you are? That you actually are Izuku Midoriya? Easy. All you need is a bit of my DNA, and I am more than happy to give it to you if you want. Oh, no! No! No, 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 it's unnecessary. As, yeah, she tries to turn around and walk away, but Izuku grabs her by the hand and pulls her towards him. And he is caressing the... Um... Let's just say his hands are... Where his hands are, you would not expect a student to put them around his teacher. Araka is really getting pissed off at this. While Izuku is looking back at her, just smiling. Oh, I love that chill side of you, Oraka. It's hot. Her passing out do lots of blood. The other girls are pretty much... Why do we want that? Why... Was Midoriya always like this? Like, no. No, 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 this is, this is different. This is when Sue was pretty much, yeah, we may have had a thing for him before, but this is different. Him being more forward, more bold, it's kind of nice. Thank you. I appreciate the input. Uh, no problem. <laughs> uh, but yeah, midnight. Do you want me to prove to you that I'm Yuzuka Madoya? Do you need me to? Or do you want me to? I, I really want to prove that you're actually Midoriya and not some imposter. Okay. Like I said, all you need is some DNA. Now, how do you want to get it? What? Wait, wh wait, huh? G get it? How, how, how? Wait, 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 what are you talking about? Like. Right. There are ways to get my DNA. It could be from hair, toenails, skin, saliva. Or you can go straight down to uh, <laughs> my swimmers. Uh, wait, 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 no. This ain't right. What's wrong? Don't you want to make sure that I'm the real Midoriya? I... I don't know. I... I, I want to believe that you're... Midoriya, but... The way you act... This is so... Him just getting closer until he gives her a full-on lip contact French kiss and front of the whole class, remember. As Midnight, she is shocked at this, but she is not pushing away to a point where she just enjoys it. When they finally do unlock arms, it's pretty much a blood fest. 
when it comes to bloody noses. Midnight, her knees have buckled and she has fallen just under the sheer volume of the situation that someone who she remembers as being timid, nervous, a salmon roll has just pushed her to this point. You can just imagine all the others just wondering. On one hand, we we still want you to prove that you are you. But on the other hand, uh, okay, here you're just plugging out here. Here's my DNA midnight. Her, she's just. Why did you do that before? I'm not gonna lie. I always wondered how soft your lips were. Uh. That being the killing blow, she passes out. She has a smile on her face and everything. Izuku just walks out of the classroom. No one dares stop him. Oh, man. But, all in all, though he is having his fun, he does want to take on his territory. As he does, he ends up going back to hell. Why do you go to his room, man? Just like he expects, Angel does his weighing with uh, quite a few other willing participants. I just say, Izuku had a good night that night. Now, this whole thing gets relatively interesting, all things considered. For one, Izuku being an overlord, having his own territory, though yes, it is in the in such a interesting profession. He is highly respected as well as you know, he has Charlie in his corner. And he has actually told Charlie that you are the daughter of Lucifer. Didn't you say your father told you not to take shit from other demons? Though I get it. You don't want to just toss around your authority. But... Uh, you have dominion over demons. As does your father. Why don't you use it more often? Uh, I don't want to mess with free will. God already knows what's going to happen. Do you really think free will is a, it matters right now? Uh, Raggy, what do you think? Well, technically, if you wanted, you could force anyone just to behave if you actually flaunt your strength. I mean, aren't you stronger than pretty much most demons? I mean, I think you're actually on par with Alistair. Oh, yeah. That's right. How do I forget that? I mean, me? My mom and my dad? We're, we're the strongest. We're some of the strongest out there. Why? I'm just... You're too nice for hell. But other thing, you are a saint who shouldn't be in hell, technically. Right, that's surprised you're not in heaven, but uh, oh well. Huh. I never read really thought of it like that. Yeah. Trust me, I don't think anyone's considered the fact how scarily overpowered you truly are. Well, seems for sure you are a lot more 
capable than what you portray. No, yes, Alistair is hella powerful. It's pretty much the fact that you don't flaunt your power nearly as much as you probably should. But I do respect your level of self control. <sighs> but I will say this I am sorry for the whole extermination thing that nothing's changed. Are you kidding me? What? Uh, no, I'm actually being sincere. No, it's. Though, yes, this is still hell, and we still have. A tentacle. Uh, no. Overpopulation problem. In which we still do need to kill our citizens. You've totally made it a better place. Really? Yeah. If anything. There's less, you know, beatdowns and violence and, oh, you really think so? Yes. Hmm. I never really thought of it like that. Yeah, it's quite interesting. When you really think about it, the amount of influence you have? Hmm. I mean, you could just toss around your influence too as an overlord. I mean, yeah, you do do it sometimes, but nowhere near as much as some others might do it. Huh. Yeah. I mean, if anything, when it comes to Vox, I could pretty much taking over his position as well but you know, we decided to negotiate and I wouldn't beat the ever loving crap out of him <sighs> long day oh yeah Angel has kept me very busy especially with his guests Oh, really? Oh, calm, calm down. It's not like that. Um, I mean, yeah, we're close. And, you, well, you like him? Well, if anything, we're just friends with benefits right now. It's, it's nothing serious. But won't you like something serious? Oh my god, now you're starting to sell it with Solus whenever he tries to get me to talk to him about Blitz. Ugh. Seriously. If I wanted relationship advice, I would ask for it. I do not need it. Okay, okay. Just saying. Just say down, down. I understand what you mean, but <sighs> it's just a lot. I mean, you know, <sighs> this is easy to ever since you've told us that you're actually, you know, human. We haven't changed at all. I mean. I believe Faggy's changed to a point where she doesn't hate you as much. Or, uh, and I think he's not terrible. And, you know, since Angel doesn't have to worry nearly about Minga Quota, any money he does end up saving. Though he does spin it on, well, Angel does, he still seems to start healing a little. Yeah. I can't imagine going with, through what he did. <sighs> you know what's funny? I can't believe how many 
few times I actually thought that he was actually a chick. I feel so stupid, but oh no, you guys just kept egging me on about it and everything. I was like, oh. Heck yeah, I'm happy I was able to help him. Thanks for talking, Charlie. Hmm. Thank you, well, sir. I said hi. I'm sure he already knows. <sighs> Is it good going back? Is pretty much greeted with midnight, holding her whip and being like, "You are going to pay for what you've done to me." I haven't done anything to you yet. So I do not deserve such treatment. Oh, ho, ho. I believe you do. After all the BS you put me through, you really want me just to let you off the hook? Well, you don't have to. But consider this, I haven't done anything wrong to you, have I? <laughs> you haven't done anything wrong, you humiliated me from my class. Oh, it's not my fault that your thirstiness to just got the better of you. Oh, you bastard! Hmm. I might be a bastard. Wait, what? Yeah, you are a bastard. Not in that sense. I know I'm a jerk and maybe an asshole now. Huh. I don't know if my parents were married before they had me. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I could be a bastard. <laughs> you, you're making light of the situation. You need to be punished. I'm being punished for doing something you like. What sense does that make? <sighs> oh, that is it. Her starting to use her whip against Izuku, but he uses black whip against her, and is pretty much already won. I think it's time for a punishment. What? As yes, he wraps Black Whip around her and pretty much. Let's see, let's go straight to the classroom, shall we? Him carrying Midnight with Black Whip and in front of the class, he spanks Midnight. She is humiliated again. Only thing is, to make things worse, is that she is enjoying it. She tries to deny it, but it is not working. So, yes, Oraka has pretty much seen the boy of her dreams spend most of his time with an honest to God dude, demon, as well as, hell, oh, they're more mature, well, very well versed teacher and pretty much anyone he sees that actually catches his eye so yes as you can imagine she is rightfully pissed much so to the point where she just downright confronts Izuku her asking don't you like me or anything but him of course I like you they like, why are you, why are you you give me the cold shoulder then. Hmm. Maybe I want to save you for last. What? Wait. Wait. What? <laughs> Don't worry. I haven't forgot about you, Uraka. How could I? You were the. Hmm. 
I can say the second person I saved. What? What? Wait, who's the? F oh right. Wait, how's that count? I mean, technically, you, yeah, you gave him a fresh breath of air with that slipper incident, but it was All Might who saved you, saved him and you. Was like, True. Yeah. But at the very least, saving you was more hmm, memorable to an extent. 